Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica with Memory Box Candle Co. And I make videos all about the journey of starting a candle business. And welcome to the fifth video in my Candle Making for Beginners series. And we're talking about something that I love so much and that is fragrance oils. And I know as a beginner, um, man, there are so many different kinds of fragrance oils, different suppliers, so many different versions of pretty much the same kind of fragrance. There is a lot of overwhelm in the world of fragrance oils. So in today's video, I really just wanted to give you some helpful tips if you are very um, new to candle making, if you're a beginner and kind of want to know how to get started when it comes to fragrance oil, and just some tips on how different fragrance oils could affect your candle making. So first things first, there is nothing wrong in the beginning when you were getting started with candle making to order little one ounce samples to try out different fragrances when you're just playing around with your candle making. There's no shame in doing that. I did it. Everybody else probably did it. Like there's no way that you can get into candle making and just follow everything to a T of exactly what you should be doing um, in order to, you know, properly test your candles and all that kind of stuff. Um, because typically what I recommend when you are wanting to test candles is to just get one fragrance, one 16 ounce bottle of fragrance and use that during your testing process. And that is still what I recommend when you are wick testing and you wanna keep all of the variables the same. But if you're just having fun with candle making, there's no shame in ordering some one ounce samples, smelling them out of the bottle, making some candles, and just kind of playing around with it. But if you're doing some serious testing, you can't be changing up the different fragrance oils. And the reason behind that is because each fragrance oil is going to be slightly different from the other fragrance oil. And that's just because of the chemical compound makeup of that fragrance oil. So fragrance oils are made to be used safely in candles. And a lot of them do have a certain uh, amount of essential oil also added to them as well. So most fragrance oils are a blend of um, kind of the artificial fragrance as well as the essential oil in them. So that is something that you do need to know that all fragrances are going to perform very slightly differently in candles. Luckily, it's not such a drastic variation that you know um, you'd have to change up each different scent that you're working with like in a very drastic way. Usually it's a minor change. And usually what that change is, is it has to do with the heaviness or the density of the oil that you're working with. So oils that are more dense or have more vanillin in it typically require a larger wick to be able to burn the same way as a smaller wick would with a lighter or less dense oil. So to give you a visual representation of what I mean, these are unopened and unused. So as you can see, the bottle on the left over here that is uh, the lighter in color actually is uh, filled up higher than this one over here. These both weigh 16 ounces. So fragrance oil suppliers, candle suppliers, whenever they sell fragrances, even though it's liquid, which you would think it would be in fluid ounces, it's not, it's actually by weight, not by volume. And the reason behind that is because you can see that there is a difference in density between a lot of these fragrances. So to keep everything very cohesive and work well when it comes to the candle making process, that's why both fragrances are measured and sold by in weight. And also when we are making candles, even though it's a liquid, we're still measuring it. And I know that that can be a little confusing because most of the time when you're working with liquids, you are measuring it out by volume. So like in the kitchen, if you're you know, measuring out like milk or something, like you're measuring it by volume, not by the weight. 
but that is a difference in candle making. So that is definitely something that you need to know ahead of time is that some oils have a, um, have, or they're more dense, so they're heavier. And those are the kind of oils that you will want to pay attention to when you are creating your candle and choosing your wick, because you may find that there are certain oils that you may need to wick up. And that is definitely something that I have found as well, especially with these newer uh, candles that I have been creating for my new line. I have found that with heavier oils like a pumpkin spice, a sugar cookie, anything that's going to have more vanilla in it, um, it requires a little bit more of a stronger wick to be able to heat up that thicker oil in the wax. Now, when it comes to choosing which fragrance oils that you want to use for either your candle line or your hobby of if you are making candles and wanting to just give them away or if you're wanting to turn it into a business, um, there is definitely a lot to choose from. <laughs> like I was saying earlier in the beginning, I am even overwhelmed with the amount of choices that are out there. And not only that, but most of these oils that you can get from suppliers, it's not going to be a pure um, fragrance oil in there. So for instance, if you get a lavender, it's not just going to be lavender. There's going to be maybe some earthy, you know, notes in there. There's going to be other things in there besides just lavender. Unless you're working specifically with an essential oil, um, fragrances work a little bit different. So if you're just trying to find an orange or just trying to find a lavender with no other notes, um, I haven't been able to find that in any of the sp suppliers that I've looked at with that kind of thing. But the nice thing with that is that a lot of these pre-blends, um, which is essentially a pre-blend, is a, is a fragrance oil that has a bunch of different notes in it that maybe you wouldn't have thought of putting together. And um, there's maybe eight, nine, 10 notes in there. And notes are basically just little bits and pieces of these different scents added to it. And um, there's no way to really know the ratio of these notes inside of this. So a lot of times when I am, let's say, picking like the description of the fragrance oil, if I'm trying to describe it to somebody, um, I don't want to just try to memorize all eight to 15 different notes in the fragrance. I really just go based off of what I personally pick up from that fragrance oil, either out of the bottle or when I make it out of a candle. And then those are the notes that I then use to describe that scent. And if you live in the United States, there is the option of blending your own fragrances. The reason why I say if you live in the United States, it's because I know that elsewhere they require you to fill out some type of form or you have to get it approved or something like that. I don't know exactly what it is when you're when you go and blend oils together, like a CLP form or something like that. I'm not familiar with it, so I can't speak on that. But if you do live in the US, um, we are able to just kind of blend however many fragrance oils together and be able to create our own custom blend, um, which is what I have done with a few of the different candle scents in my line. And it's a lot of fun. It gives you more creative freedom and it allows you to be able to um, stand out and have something maybe brand new that nobody else has out there. So there are endless possibilities and creations that you can do when it comes to fragrance oil, which is why it is the most fun part of the candle making process. Because really when we are working with candles, buying candles, I mean, most of the time we are wanting candles because it produces such a nice scent that a lot of people like. And that is why people purchase candles. I mean, it's pretty much the number one reason why people purchase candles. So um, that is just kind of an overview of fragrance oil. Um, if you are a beginner, I recommend um, have your fun, have uh, a good time going through the process of, you know, trying out different one ounce samples from different suppliers. I do recommend for you to try to find a supplier just like 
all the other videos I've talked about that are close to you in proximity because the shipping cost will be cheaper. And if you can get more fragrances from a single company that you can order at the same time, you're going to save even more on shipping than ordering like one scent from like six or seven different suppliers. If you order all the scents from one or two suppliers, you're gonna save more money on shipping that way. Um, but with that, I think I am going to end today's video right here. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something. Um, fragrance is just a lot of fun and I love talking about it. So if you have any further questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Um, but with that, I'm going to end today's video. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Memory Box Candle Co. And I will see you in my next video.